Big birthday celebration going on. It's the first birthday for Norfolk's Light Rail in honor of that one year milestone. You can ride the tide for free. Then on your side is Andy Fox is out at MacArthur Station for the big celebration. Andy? It really was. I mean, one year into this, they are far ahead than where they thought they would be. The big question will be, we've got a train coming up here right now. There's the tide, light rail going out there to Newtown Road, and that's where it ends because it does not go to Virginia Beach. The big question is, in November, referendum on the ballot, will Virginia Beach residents vote for the tide to go to Virginia Beach? At the one-year celebration, a question kept popping up. Is Virginia Beach the next to get light rail? These Virginia Beach residents are members of the citizens group Light Rail Now. How many times? Who's ridden it more than five times? Everyone? How about 10? 15? 20? 20? Three dozen times. On the November ballot, there will be a referendum. A yes vote is for light rail. It's a win-win situation. If we bring it to Virginia Beach, the city will win and the people will win. We can't lose on this. It's, it's necessary. And there goes the tide off to Newtown Road, but it will stop on the border of Virginia Beach in Norfolk. This is Virginia Beach Mayor Will Sessoms. What needs to happen for you all to get this to come to Virginia Well, Beach? the very first thing is the referendum has to pass. Now, the referendum does not guarantee success of the referendum does not guarantee light rail coming to Virginia Beach, but it allows us to move forward, do a good thorough evaluation, get public input, and see if the federal money is available to fund it. What are you hearing now from your side? And I know you have some polling. What can you tell us about it? Well, it looks very favorable now, but it's too close to call, and I think anyone that wants to see this be successful needs to get out there and vote in favor of the referendum. Now, you were a strong advocate for it, and then you saw the cost overruns, and you said, hey, maybe we need to back up and see where we are. Now you're back full, and you're putting this on the ballot with you, and you've been an advocate to do that, even, and you're on the ballot, too. Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, you do what you think is right. And again, this referendum passing doesn't guarantee light rail coming. But I will tell you, go look at that parking lot that I just left to ride in here. It is full. The argument has been for years, people won't ride it. Well, the study, we're going to have one year's worth of information as of yesterday, which is required by the state uh, report. And guess what? Those numbers exceed what anyone ever, ever projected. Right. 1.74 million riders in the last year. Right. I mean, right. You've got to, that's got to be impressive to you. They're hitting numbers that are, were projected to occur about five or six years from now. Now, uh, the, the, the argument is to take it to town center first. Absolutely. And I, I think that's a cost that we could uh, find to be fairly reasonable as far as a, a, a transportation project. I think it'll be successful overnight when we take it to town center. Where do you get the money to pay for all of this? That's well, the big well, concern. For and me. as I said to you, the key, the key to this project moving forward is federal money being available. Today, it is available. Will it be there two years from now? I can't guarantee it. If it's not, it will be very difficult to get it done. Virginia Beach Mayor Will Sessoms, thank you very thank much you, for Eddie. showing up, sir. I sure do appreciate it. So that's the latest on this light rail. After one year, everyone really happy, and that man right there hoping that it ends up going to Virginia Beach. Guys, back to you. All right, Andy, thank you very much. To see more of today's event or to see our coverage of light rail all the way back to 1996, head over to wavy.com. We have several stories there, including a timeline of events that go all the way back to that time when light rail was just a dream and now it is reality in Norfolk. It was a beautiful.